Hey there, and welcome to Art of Gmail. I'm a longtime watcher here on YouTube, but I thought I would try throwing my hat into the creative ring. First, I'm so sorry about the video. <laughs> the orientation of my piece is all over the place. I just wanted to post something as soon as possible to get started and get out of that sort of procrastination phase I was in. Because even after watching 20 videos on starting a YouTube channel, the only big thing that I seen a lot of people say was to just start. So here's my channel. <laughs> I have a little bit of background about myself, my life story, yay. <laughs> I grew up playing video games. I love video games. I still love video games so much. Uh, I started drawing the video game characters, you know, like Mario or Tales from Sonic, who was one of my absolute favorites, Bubsy. If any of you know who Bubsy is, <laughs> uh, I got a lot of praise from the adults for drawing these and it really encouraged me to keep going. And I, I started with the drawings, but I slowly started doing coloring contests too. Cause everyone was like, oh, you're so good at doing these characters and video games. Try the coloring contests. And I was like, oh, okay. And I would win them. I mean, we never won anything really good. It was just like a pack of crayons or markers or something, but man, it wasn't encouraging to win something at that age. I think I was like six, seven, eight, nine. And you know, it meant a lot to get those. And I thought, wow, I'm really good at this. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Strangely enough, I also participated in some video game contests. I don't know if any of you know what the Donkey Kong Country competition was, but way back, Blockbuster had this thing where if you came in, you could play on the 64 and you would run around and collect bananas. And it was basically like a points based game. And whoever got the most points would win the grand prize. And I honestly don't remember what it was. I think it was the game cartridge itself, like the competition cartridge, but I'm not sure. All I know is I got second place in that competition and I got a pack of Marvel cards. <laughs> Which I still have, by the way. I really like them. I always pull them out and be like, oh, I won these in a game competition that nobody really remembers. <laughs> but I liked them. Anyways, man, I really love video games. But this isn't about video games. Um, back to the point. <laughs> I went through my younger years wanting to be an artist. Of course, uh, a lot of us artists now used to want to be an artist when we were kids. But as I got older, I went through some shifts. Uh, first, I wanted to be an auto mechanic, which is really weird. It's not even really related to any of this, but I guess I wanted to help fix my mom's car or something. So I got really into cars for, I don't know, three or four years. And that was that. Uh, then I wanted to be a game designer. But as soon as I saw that you had to learn all this code or anything that was complicated because I didn't even have a computer back then so I was like man this isn't gonna work I you know put the game idea aside I just didn't think it was gonna work for me <laughs> then I decided I was going to be a graphic designer because I didn't think being an artist would get you money but hey graphic design will get you paid oh man I don't even want to go there right now I was a graphic designer for 10 years and let me tell you <laughs> That's a story for a completely different time. I'm just going to say that right now. But now I'm an artist again. And I just went complete full circle on this. So now that I'm attempting art again, I mean, I don't feel like I really attempted it that much as a kid. I just did a lot of it for fun and I didn't really think much of it. But now that I'm doing it again, I felt like... I might be able to help or give advice on some stuff I've personally learned or went through. I didn't go through a ton of stuff when it comes to art illustration or anything like that, but I did go through a lot in the creative field, like dealing with clients or the psychology or the mindset that you have to have to deal with deadlines or things like that. I, I feel like I might be able to help in that regard, especially since I've been able to merge what I've done with graphic design into my illustration and art. Uh, the only <laughs> the only downside I feel like there is to this is my art doesn't really speak for my experience because my art isn't it's it's 
not bad. I like my art and I like what I do because I mostly only do things for myself, but I, I'm not a pro by any means yet. I want to be, but I'm not yet. And I feel like my art has a long way to go before I hit the, the hit that level where I feel like I can tell people or teach people anything about it, really. But I'm just sort of circling around what I like about it. it I'm not really settled on any one thing I want to do with my art right now. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, all I can say is uh, I'm going to do the best I can. And I hope I improve through this platform. I really want to improve my work. And I really want to help and give advice to people who want it or need it. Because I've seen so many people improve or they gain self-confidence or anything just because somebody gave them that confidence and gave them that self-esteem that little push that boost that they needed i mean i've been helped a ton on this like youtube instagram uh discord chats it doesn't matter where it was if somebody you like watching or uh listening to tells you hey you're doing a good job and all you got to do is push here or all you got to do is do this it means a lot and I mean it means a lot to me I know that I'm not being spoken to personally but overall when people are telling you you know you can do this you feel it and I want to do that for people as well I want to give people that feeling that they got this they can do it and they can just have more confidence I mean, even I still need some confidence or some kind of push in the right direction. You can't do everything by yourself. I mean, you can try, but it gets really hard, especially if you're stuck in your own head for too long and you start kind of losing your way. It's just a lot easier to have somebody to help you. I mean, this is my first video on YouTube and even I'm a little nervous. I'm currently doing a million takes and editing out this audio over and over again. It's driving me crazy. Um, I don't know how YouTubers do this all the time, but hopefully I get used to it and find my, uh, my flow, my workflow. Uh, cause right now I'm procrastinator extreme and I feel like these videos and, uh, the community interactions will really help me push more <laughs> to get stuff done. But anyways, I, hope you join me so we can improve and grow together. I hope that uh, I can help you. I really hope I can help you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to po uh, posting more videos and hopefully helping some of you with my old-timey advice. I have a lot of old advice, probably some outdated advice, but mostly stuff about clients and money, stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, feel free to subscribe, leave a like or a dislike. It's okay if you don't like it, just let me know. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments or maybe make some suggestions of things you'd like to see. You can always see uh, some of my art on Instagram or on Twitter. I pretty much post the same stuff everywhere. I'll leave some links in the description. But thanks so much for watching. <laughs> please come back and watch more videos. <laughs> um, well, I guess I'll, I'll catch you later. Bye.